hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are having a wonderful day my name is candy if you're new here i want to welcome you and if you're returning i want to say thank you for your support it truly means a lot i appreciate you guys now in today's video i will be sharing a recipe for stewed fish with boiled and fried cassava i was having a craving as i always do i'm always craving stuff i'm greedy like that <laughs> you know when i come up with these recipes I just be sitting and craving stuff. That's just me. You know, I'm a foodie. So I was craving some stewed fish with boiled and fried cassava. And today that's the recipe I'll be sharing with you guys. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And guys, don't forget to like, share and comment on the video. It helps the channel out a lot. Now, let's jump into the recipe. guys so let's start off by making the boiled and fried cassava first here i have the cassavas already prepped and i'll be using some onions scallions bell peppers garlic some seasoned salt complete seasoning and black pepper to a pot of boiling water i will now add some salt then we'll add the cassavas and just allow them to boil until nice and tender to a preheated skillet, I will now add some oil and then we'll go in with some butter. Allow that butter to melt. Once it melts, we'll add our aromatics. Give that a good stir and then we'll add our seasonings to add flavor and taste. Then we'll allow everything to go for about 3 minutes. Lastly, you want to add the cassava, give it a good mix, make sure everything is well combined. And that's it guys, it's super simple and easy and it's absolutely delicious. It can go with a number of different things. You can have it with all types of different stews, you can have it with curry or you can have it by itself. It's that good. Now we will turn this heat off and set this aside. Let's make our stewed fish. So here are my ingredients for the stewed fish. I did season the fish ahead of time so that it could be well marinated. I will be using some bell peppers. I have tomatoes, some uh, habanero peppers, parsley, green onions, thyme. I have garlic, some carrots. I'll be using regular onions. I have tomato sauce. Uh, all these seasonings I will leave down in the description box. I have some brown sugar as well as some potato starch. So today I'll be using parrot fish. I have a fresh whole parrot fish here. It's about three pounds. And I already washed it up in some lemon juice. And for the seasonings, I'll be using Old Bay fish seasoning, black pepper, and some fresh green seasoning. What I did was combine all the seasonings. I added about two tablespoons, you know, heaping tablespoons, to this bowl with the rest of the seasonings. I mixed really well and that's what I used to season my fish. You know, I just made sure that the fish was nicely coated with the seasonings and then I allow it to rest for about an hour. So first things first, you want to fry the fish. Now what I did was coat my fish in some plain flour. I didn't season the flour or anything because the fish has enough seasoning. So I coat the fish in the flour just so that it can be nice and dry since the seasonings I used was wet. So I flour the fish and then now we will place it in our skillet and allow it to fry until it's nice and brown on one side and then we'll give it a flip and allow it to be golden brown on the other side. We'll remove it once it's done, set it aside and we'll carry on with the next step. So 
to a preheated pot i did add some oil and now i'll go in with my brown sugar i'll be caramelizing the sugar today to create a nice browning kind of sauce to cook the stew fish in now you don't have to use this technique you can simply use some browning some soy sauce or whatever brown sauce you have on hand i was just feeling like i wanted to you know burn my sugar today because that was the mood i was in so once the sugar is nice and brown to your desired color you'll go ahead and add your aromatics we'll add them in give it a good stir and allow it to go for about three to four minutes After about three minutes, you want to now add the tomato sauce as well as the carrots, the seasonings. We will give it a good stir, let it go for about a minute or so. Then we'll add some hot water. We'll also add our thyme, habanero peppers, and we will add that potato starch slurry in here. Now, if you don't have potato starch, you can use corn starch or flour. It's just used as a thickener for the sauce. So once that has been added, we will cover this and allow it to simmer for about five to eight minutes. So at this point, you wanna add the fish. Make sure it's nicely coated with that sauce. We'll cover it on low heat and allow it to simmer for about five minutes. And lastly, you want to garnish with some fresh green onions and parsley. And that's it. The stew fish is all done. When I tell you this is delicious, it's the best stew fish you will ever try. Trust me. Now let me play this up and show you all the finished product. And here you have it, stewed fish with boiled and fried cassava. It was so mouth-watering, I truly enjoyed it. If you're looking for something other than rice or pasta, the boiled and fried cassava is so good, you have to try it. And it paired well with the stewed fish. I hope you guys give this recipe a try if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button for your girl i will be leaving all the ingredients and the measurements down in the description box and i'll see you guys next time have a good day and bye